Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the WSBA here on our Wolverine Studios channel on Twitch. Uh, we got a big night for you tonight. It is the WSBA Finals. We will crown our first ever league champion, and after that, we will proceed and uh, go through the draft lottery. So we will see who wins the championship tonight, and we will see who wins the number one pick in the draft tonight as well. So it's going to be a really, really exciting stream. Uh, I'm glad that uh, you're here for it. Uh, I want to start by thanking our followers, as always, and of course, huge thanks to our subscribers. Uh, thank you for supporting our efforts on our channel here. Uh, we are excited to uh, get the league members in here and get them chatting things up. Uh, I'm sure they uh, they will be chatting very shortly, as uh, Van hopefully will be here tonight to see uh, his Washington Americans take on the dreaded Oklahoma City Twisters in this finals matchup. As we see the playoff brackets, uh, Washington has not played a team better than them to get to the finals. They came in as the three seed. They disposed of the six seed Brooklyn. Then they got the seventh seeded Miami and fourth seeded Philly on their way to the finals. So they did not have to go through either of the top two teams in the East to get there. Uh, nonetheless, they got there. So congratulations to Washington on making the finals. Out West, Oklahoma City also did not play anybody better than them on the way to the finals, but that's because there is nobody better than them. Uh, they went 4-1, 4-0, 4-0 uh, as they went through Houston, Utah, and Golden State, and a very good Golden State team, too, at that. So it was a uh, no small task that Oklahoma City uh, swept them in the conference finals. So we have Oklahoma City and Washington here uh, uh, in the finals. There is Van in the uh, in the chat. He says that uh, they uh, took care of business, unlike the top two seeds out east, and that's true. That is true. So let's uh, let's begin by taking a look at these two teams in this matchup. As we go over to Washington, they finished 56 and 26 on the year. Uh, their star player. Clarence Hopper, almost 27 points a game, just over 11 boards a game, almost 7 assists uh, with 1.8 steals and 2.2 blocks. Hopper does it all for Washington. Everything runs through him, and he is going to have to be a monster in this series to give Washington a chance. Uh, the other two important players here for Washington will be Ronaldo Kittles and Tim Reese, their starting center and point guard, respectively, because uh, those are the three most important players that match up with uh, OKC's three stars. Kittles had a great year, 18-8, almost 10 a game. Uh, Reese, not bad for a point guard, all 11.4 points, seven assists. Um, you know, he's certainly, I mean, their big two and three are not as good as Oklahoma City's, uh, you know, big two and three, but uh, those guys will be critically important. Uh, Van also tells us that uh, Battier and Braswell are of critical importance as well. And you can see both of those guys, about 10 points per game, scores on the season. Uh, Battier is a 37% three-point shooter. Uh, so those guys, key to Washington having a chance here. Uh, as we look at their very formidable opponent, the OKC Twisters, 73-9 and nine on the season. Uh their star player, Sean Roberts, 27, 11, and uh, 4.3 assists per game. Two steals, almost three blocks. Roberts and Hopper is uh, is sort of a dream matchup here in this series. That's going to be a great, great matchup. Of course, uh, Shada Sambadashvili, we talked about him a number of times all season long, averaging 25.1 with nine assists and eight rebounds a game. Uh probably the best point guard in the league. And the one guy who doesn't get as much mention uh, is the other part of the big three here, Noel Bishop. Uh, and uh, I mean, how do you overlook, how do you get overlooked when you average 21 points a game, 7.3 rebounds, 5.3 assists from the center spot? I mean, that's their third best option. This team is absolutely loaded and it is no, uh, no surprise whatsoever. Uh, why they went 73 and 9 and have just cruised to the finals. 
So uh, obviously OKC, the big favorite here, but Washington has, has played tough all series long. If we go to look at the game preview uh, and we look at the team stats, uh, OKC better by about seven points per game offensively. Defensively, they're pretty close. Uh, that 51.5% field goal percentage for OKC, though, is uh, is just fantastic. Um, assist, close, rebounds, close, blocks, steals, pretty close. So really, we're, we're looking at uh, Hopper and Roberts in this series. If if one of them, if Hopper can somehow slow down Roberts, I think Washington has a chance to hang in this one. Um, but Hopper's got to be amazing. Uh, there is Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie, he is the Golden State manager. Uh, welcome to the stream. He knows firsthand how tough OKC was from last week's stream. So here we go. Getting ready for game one of the finals. Washington traveling to OKC. And uh, let's see what happens. And it's OKC 125-112 in the first game. And Tim Reese suffers an injury in that game. Uh not the way Washington wanted to start out, for sure. Let's go take a look at that box score from Game 1. And uh, Van was hoping to keep the over under uh, under 210. And uh, that didn't happen. Hopper had 20 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, and minus 2 on the night. Uh, Reese only playing 29 minutes before going down with that injury. And uh, it's going to have to be next man up for Washington here. Uh, Braswell, uh, minus 10 off the bench. Battier, minus 10 in the starting lineups, but he did have 17 points. And Reese had 22. I mean, he was he was in there. But uh, we'll see how, how a long that injury is, how bad it is. For OKC, Roberts dominant, 30, 39 and 17, 6 assists, 3 steals. Sambadashvili, 24 and 14. Bishop, 24 and 12, 12 assists out of the center spot. That's, uh, that's a heck of an effort. Uh, Reese has sprained his ankle. He's out 10 days, so he's done uh, for the finals. So a bit of bad luck there for Washington as we start game one. But it, uh, it'll give Braswell an opportunity uh, possibly to step up. Let's see the game preview for game two. Uh, OKC, big time favorite here now um, with Reese out. And Hopper also injured, probable, with a sore hip. We didn't see that one come up, so that's just a minor injury for Hopper. It looks like he will uh, try to gut it out. We'll see what happens for Washington here. As if OKC needed any help at all. Reese out, Hopper probable. Game two here in OKC. And it's a close one, and it looks like Hopper may have sat 129, 123. OKC wins that one. Uh, perhaps Hopper just couldn't go. We'll have to pull up the box score and see what happened there. And it does look like uh, Hopper tried. He went uh, 13 minutes, made five fouls. So Hopper did give it a go for Washington, but uh, completely ineffective. Uh, Zubak played well off the bench for them. Uh, 27 points and 11 rebounds, but there's no slowing down Sean Roberts. 37 points again, four blocks, 13 rebounds, five assists, two steals. Uh, it was 56 points in the paint. OKC just feeds it in there. Uh, as you can see, they're not a great three-point shooting team uh, in this game. Eight for 25. Uh, Washington did a great job shooting threes, uh, mostly because they had to to uh, to try to keep this thing close. But uh, again, a big free throw discrepancy as well. That's what happens when you play in the paint so much. <laughs> Van says he feels like New Jersey in the finals against the Shaq Kobe Lakers. Uh, that is a... <laughs> Perhaps an accurate statement here. Uh, Sambadashvili had 16 and 12. Bishop, 19. 12 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, their big three keeps running. Although Sambadashvili, minus 4. So uh, Braswell filling in at the point guard spot does a nice job there. But 
uh, just not enough. It was close though. It, it was. I'm surprised how close it was without Reese and Hopper uh, limited to 13 minutes. Let's see. He still has that sore hip, so it's going to be at least one more game here that Hopper plays with that sore hip if he can go. Uh, the game preview here. Yep, Hopper still probably with that sore hip. Tim Reese is out, as we know. Uh, OKC favored on the road here by eight. So the uh, odds maker is not giving Washington much much of a chance, but we'll see if they can uh, do anything here in game three to make this a series. And no, it's a blowout. One fifteen eighty seven. Washington falls in a three zero hole. And uh, they are getting the champagne ready and the parade route lined up in OKC here. Washington with an abysmal first half, 31 points combined at the half. Hopper, 20 minutes again, foul trouble with that sore hip. Five fouls, five turnovers, only two points. Um, Roberts again, 34, 21, three assists, three steals, four blocks. They just... They just don't have an answer for Roberts without Hopper. Even with Hopper, Roberts had a fantastic first game. Um, but with Hopper struggling with that sore hip, there's just uh, just not much hope for Washington here. Van is seeing brooms. Uh, the good news is Hopper is healed from the sore hip now. Hopper... He's had a rough playoff. He missed games uh, earlier in the uh, in the second round, I think it was, and uh, and now he's missed. Well, he's, he hasn't missed, but he he really was ineffective in games two and three here in the finals with that sore hip. But he'll get one chance to uh, to get Washington a win here. We'll see if they can do it here in game four. Will it be an OKC sweep? Will Washington force a game five? And Washington does it. They uh, score a victory here, 126 to 110. So they are keeping the uh, the series alive here. We knew Washington wouldn't go down without a fight. Let's take a look at the box score from game four. Hopper, player of the game with 20 points, 8 assists, 9 rebounds, 6 blocks, doing everything he can to keep uh, Washington in this series. Uh, he did have 5 fouls again, which you know is going to be natural playing against Sean Roberts. Uh, Roberts went for 25, 7, and 3. Uh, so they slowed him down a little bit. That's a slow night for Sean Roberts. And uh, let's see, Slavatashvili with 24, Bishop with 26. Really, I mean, if, if you can find a way <laughs> to just get past some of that big three from Oklahoma City, the rest of the team really doesn't do a lot. But those big three are huge. Uh, on the Washington side, Ryan came through with 22 off the bench. Williams, a plus 23 in just 19 minutes. And Braswell did a nice job. Uh, filling in for Reese again, 12 assists, 7 points. So Washington uh, stayed alive here. They had an 18-point lead at one point, too. So they can hang. Um, it's just going to be a matter of having to do it three more times, which seems unlikely, but you never know. Uh, Van says that OKC wants... They just want to celebrate at home. We'll see. Uh, there's uh, Chris uh, from GM Games and our Toronto owner in the chat. Hey, Chris, at Cards, good to see you too. Uh, tough loss last week for Cards and his Philly team to this Washington team. All right, 3-1. to one. Game 5 coming up here. Can Oklahoma City close it out and win the first ever WSBA championship and they have done it oklahoma city is the 2020 2021 champs with a 109 
98 victory over Washington. Congratulations to the AI who has run OKC all year long, uh, proving that the AI in Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2021 is very tough and a very competent manager, as we do not have a human winner this season. Uh, let's look at the box score from Game 5. Roberts, 34, 7, 6, 2 steals, 6 blocks. Uh, you know, the usual story from Roberts. Bishop, 18, Sambadishvili, 21. Uh, Hopper, 16 points. Again, foul trouble against Roberts, uh, like everybody else, apparently. Uh, Braswell had 19, Kittle, 16. Batty hit 25, 5 for 7 from 3. Uh but just big minuses from Battier and Kittles on the floor, minus 21s. So some offense there, but no defense. Uh, Oklahoma City never trailed in this game. It was uh, all OKC right from the jump. So uh, Van says he respects his robot overlords. Um, and I think, you know, his... I, I would have liked to see this series if Reese was available and Hopper didn't have that the hip issue for games two and three. I don't think it would have changed the outcome, but I think Washington could have gotten one more at home at least and maybe at least forced game six. But, you know, it is what it is. Oklahoma City was dominant all year long. Uh, and, and only lost twice the entire playoffs, once here in the finals to Washington, and, uh, of course, once in round one, surprisingly, to Houston. Uh, it, it almost looked like Oklahoma City might be human when they lost to Houston in that game in round one, but after that, they just dominated. So, that uh, that wraps it up for the season, and we are ready to move on to the lottery, which we will... Uh, do right now. Uh, let me mute the sound so we skip through the uh, the lottery intro. Uh, so we've got a lot of interested parties here, I'm sure, for the uh, the draft lottery. And uh, let's take a look at that. the uh, The modern lottery rules means the top four picks are determined by the lottery drawing. The worst three teams have the same chance to win, uh, unlike in previous years of the draft where the top team always had the top chance. This year, the bottom, uh, now moving forward, the bottom three teams have the same chance to win. So Charlotte, Indy, and Sacramento, all with a 14% chance of winning the lottery. Uh, New York at 12.5% chance. Los Angeles, 10.5%. Phoenix with 9%. Denver with 7.5%. There you go, Jedi. You got 7.5% chance of winning this thing. Uh, Cleveland in at 6%. Dallas, 4.5%. San Antonio, 3% chance. My Orlando Mystics with a big 2% chance. Uh, Detroit, 1.5%. Atlanta with 1%. And Minnesota with the least chance of winning the lottery here at just 0.5%. So... Let's uh, let's get on to it. We will do it. Uh, we will unveil them slowly, so we can uh, create a little bit of uh, of drama here. Uh, GM Games Chris wants to know who's the guy shooting that floater on the podium. Maybe it's Sean Roberts after this series. All right, here we go. The 14th pick in the WSBA draft will go to the Minnesota Coyotes. No surprise there. No frozen envelopes here tonight. Uh, the 13th pick in the draft will go to the Atlanta Eagles. The 12th selection in the draft will go to the Detroit Gears. Now we need a little magic here for the Orlando Mystics. Uh, of course, Cards comes out right away saying that uh, uh, if Orlando moves up, it's rigged. <laughs> uh, we will see the 11th pick 
goes to the Orlando Mystics. There you go, cards. Not rigged at all. I'm picking 11th in the draft. Not great. Not what I was hoping for. The 10th pick goes to San Antonio. The Outlaws will pick 10th. The, uh, the number 9 pick is Dallas. So, so far, everybody holding in place uh, for the back half of it. Let's go to the 8th pick. And it's Cleveland. So, everybody uh, still in place here. Now we're up to the 7th pick. Jedi, get ready. We'll see if Denver can move up in the draft. The 7th pick goes to... The Phoenix beams. That means Denver has moved up. Congratulations, Jedi. Denver has moved up to the uh, somewhere near the top of this draft. The sixth pick in the draft belongs to the New York Metros. That means the Los Angeles Waves have also moved up. So this is uh, some bad news for the top three teams in the draft. As uh, Denver and L.A. have both moved up. The fifth pick in the draft goes to Sacramento. Uh, and uh, before we go to the top four here, one of the things I love about this draft lottery screen is how the, the colors over here turn to gray when the team has been picked so you know which team has jumped up. Uh, that's one of my favorite things in designing the lottery screen and, and running through it here. So we're down to the final four teams. Charlotte, Indiana, Los Angeles, and Denver. The uh, the number four pick in the draft will go to Denver. So Jedi has moved from seven to the fourth pick. Not a bad jump at all. Uh, and that means Charlotte, Indy, and L.A. here for the top three picks. The number three pick in the draft goes to Indiana. So the Racers fall down a spot, and that is a huge jump for L.A. as they were supposed to get the fifth pick, and now they are in the top two. So Charlotte and L.A. in the top two spots. They have their lucky charms on their desks, ready to celebrate. Let's see who the number two pick is. Number two pick is L.A., so that means the Charlotte Wasps have won the WSBA Draft Lottery. Congratulations to Charlotte, and especially to L.A. and Denver, who have jumped up in the draft order. It'll be Charlotte, L.A., Indiana, Denver, rounding out the top four picks. So, <laughs> Carr says the only thing... Charlotte won all year. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and we will have uh, certainly some interesting things happening, uh, openings in the league for next season. So if, if you are interested in joining the league, uh, we do have openings, including the defending champs now, OKC. Uh, we'll be open, and we have some teams right at the top of the lottery here, too, that will be open as well. So you can come in and, and run a, uh, a championship team.